Air SB system. SB stands for stretch breathable and it consists of the external layer of the dry suit which is a stretch breathable membrane dry suit along with two underneath or undergarments uh, that also are extremely stretchy and also give you the best moisture management that we feel is available in the industry today. The fundamental difference between this suit and all other trilaminate suits is that rather than using woven nylon and butyl trilaminate on, uh, for the suit material, uh, this is a stretch knit material, it's Antron Nylon Spandex, uh, and the membrane in the middle is a uh, stretch breathable polyurethane membrane. So the membrane itself uh, stretches and breathes and has been paired with fabric uh, that is designed to match the stretch characteristics of the material. So you can see most membrane dry suits have virtually no stretch whatsoever and this suit has quite a lot of stretch. What that does fundamentally that no other membrane suit does is if you ever look at a membrane dry suit that has a front zipper, it either has a suspender and crotch strap system for taking up the extra room that you need in the torso, uh, or they have our own ATR or the automatic torso recoil. This suit is stretchy enough that you don't need any of that, so there is, uh, there is less bulk, uh, and it is truly a self-donning uh, suit. Many of our, our suits that have the, uh, the zipper up across the chest and into the shoulder, many divers have trouble actually getting the very first little bit done. Uh, so it's truly not self-donning. This, this one is. We, we, uh, anybody that gets into this suit is, is amazed at how easy it is to, uh, to wear. We also have used the new uh, tie zip master seal zipper because it's extremely flexible, uh, soft and supple, and uh, it is also lightweight. One of the, the things that we've seen at the show is as soon as people pick up the suit, they can't believe how light it is. And because it's uh, the material itself is about the same weight as our other uh, um, uh, butyl trilaminate suits, uh, but there's less of it in the suit uh, because it stretches the suits that don't have to be so bulky which means that there's less drag uh, and less air trapped in the, uh, in the suit. So to, uh, to combine this suit with old underwear, uh, with old technology underwear, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense because even our underwear that we put stretch panels in doesn't stretch anywhere near like what the suit can. So we have developed uh, two undergarments to go with the suit that have the same stretch characteristics and also moisture management characteristics as the suit itself. So if the idea behind the shell suit is to provide some stretch and breathability, it doesn't make sense to have the undergarment uh, that does not offer those same characteristics. The first thing I'd like to do uh, is to be very, very clear that we make absolutely no claim whatsoever that the suit breathes on the water. Okay. Uh, the breathability <laughs> concept of the suit is to uh, try and ease the hilt, uh, heat buildup when you're getting dressed on a hot day and still getting into cold water. Uh, and all of the undergarments are designed to work with that moisture management uh, in mind. So the first layer, this is Malden Mills Power Dry material. It's a two-layer material, and the inside layer next to your skin is designed to draw moisture directly across the garment. Once it reaches this side, this material is designed to take the water uh, droplets and spread them out over the largest surface area possible so that it will evaporate and move the moisture away from your skin as quickly as we can. This garment is uh, available in pants and a top. Uh, because we want to have it as snug as possible, a one-piece garment doesn't do that as well because you might be mismatched in size. If you're larger in the upper body than the lower, by the time you get something that fits you in the chest, it's six feet tall, which is yeah. obviously the case uh, uh, with me. So this is a two-piece undergarment, worn, snug, chosen top and bottom for the best fit, purchased separately. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you get the close fit to skin, you don't get the bulk, uh, and you get the moisture moving away. The other problem that you see in, in many dry suits is the bottoms of the, uh, of the underwear are very bulky. Even if you look at, uh, at our existing underwear, there's a lot of bulk here. And if you look at the amount of bulk here and the tightness of the boots, it's a very common problem that you've got a lot of bulk and uh, actually discomfort and compression down in where it goes into the boot. So this undergarment is, uh, is thin. Because it's so stretchy, it uh, fits very close to your ankles and calves. And then we just have a thin lycra stirrup here. 
and the stirrups are designed so that they are at a different height than the stirrups on the mid-range, uh, or the mid-layer. Uh, so because it's a layered system, we have the, uh, the shell suit on the outside that provides the stretch and breathability. And then the first layer is uh, close to the skin, designed to pull the moisture away from you. And this is the insulating layer. Now from the, a distance, it just looks like an ordinary uh, fleece garment. Uh, but this is the first fleece material that has been designed from the ground up to be worn by divers under a dry suit. And the fundamental difference between this material and all other fleeces is that it is compression resistant. Fleece re relies on creating loft uh, in order to give you the thermal efficiency that it does. And on the surface, it does a wonderful job. When you put it in a dry suit underwater and you get the hydrostatic pressure on the suit, it tends to crush regular fleece and you lose most of your thermal efficiency. Because this is compression resistant, uh, it gives you much better uh, thermal efficiency at any depth. Uh, and the other difference is, compared to normal fleece, it's enormously stretchy. And as I said earlier, there's not much point in having a stretch outer shell dry suit and wearing non-stretch underwear uh, underneath it. Mid-layer garment is where all of your insulation comes from, and it is designed to be layered as well. So one of the important things when you're layering garments is that you construct it so that seams and zippers don't keep laying on top of each other. So the seaming is quite is slightly different placed on each level. For instance, on this, which is the one-piece uh, zippered garment, the zipper is angled and goes off so it avoids the Adam's apple uh, and stays away from the center of the uh, throat. Uh, that's nice because you don't want the bulk of the uh, dry suit seal on top of it. But also if the water is really cold, uh, you would put on this sleeveless vest. And the sleeveless vest does have a center zip. So the sleeveless vest zipper comes up here. It does not sit on top of the other one. And it also ends uh, below your throat. As with the first layer, the fit of this is very, very important because we want as much warmth as we can get without any bulk. And that's been a, a goal at Bear for a couple of years now, is to provide warmth without bulk. The mid-layer garment is also available as a two-piece uh, garment, which is a, uh, a pant uh, and top. And if you notice in the top, when, when, when you have a very stretchy material like this, if you put a seam around the neck, the seam doesn't stretch as much as the material does. So we've got a shaped neck here that's just, these, these four pieces are designed in such a way that the neck just comes up here but there's no seam. So when you pull it over your head, you're not stretching a sewn seam. Uh, it also gives you a lot more flexibility and comfort uh, around the neck. And also, once again, provides that if you put the sleeveless vest over here, you still only have one zipper and it ends quite low so you're not, uh, you're not being uncomfortable. The uh, pants uh, have a non-skid uh, non material on the inside, they're drawstring. Again, so you can buy the two pieces uh, independently so that each piece uh, fits the best. Pants of the mid-level garment uh, actually opens up and closes down. And this is so that if you decide to use a P-valve, you can insert the catheter and the P-valve through there, pull the zipper down onto it, and it holds it into position rather than the other way around. So it's a small detail, but we, do, we are starting to sell more P-valves with our suits.